Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new from Canada, a finally medical student, and I do videos on medicine and lifestyle. And this video is on how to choose for textbook or how to select textbook as a med student. And as we all know, medical school textbooks are expensive, so one need to choose wisely to avoid waste of resources. So in this video, I am focusing on three things basically, and these three things include whether you really need to buy textbook as a medical student, and if you need to buy, which textbook are you going to buy, and when are you supposed to buy it? In this video, I will be answering these three questions. Let the video begin. Answer to the first question, whether you need to buy textbook as a med student or not, is actually very subjective and individualized. Like myself, in the early years of my med school, I used to buy textbook, but later on, I began to realize that it is not necessary for me to buy textbook. Even though some of my colleagues still used to buy textbook, even as we start our final year. So the first thing that makes me to think of individuals Hope without buying textbook is basically the textbook are from different authors and different publications, different years, different editions. So even if you buy textbook, it may not be of recent edition. And if it is of recent edition, it is not necessary the one that is recommended by the school. And if you know that you cannot go through PowerPoints and subtitles, I advise you to buy textbook because it is the best way to acquire a lot of knowledge. Answer to the second question, which textbook are you going to buy? Which textbook actually it varies because there are different courses to go through, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, medicine, surgery, community, medicine, obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics. And also there are pathologies, there is pharmacology. So choice for the textbook depends on you. However, there are different tips that I will give you on how to choose textbook. First is to look for the textbook that is recommended by your institution. Secondly, if there is national recommendation of textbook, it is also good to look for it. Another thing is also to look for textbook that are recommended by your senior colleagues in the same institution. So there are basically three things to choose for textbook on your own is to look for the textbook that is recommended by your institution or to look for the one that is recommended by, by your national examination board. Another way is also to seek for advice from your senior colleagues to recommend a textbook for you, the one that they used. The answer to the last question, that is when are you supposed to buy a textbook is after consultations and looking for the recommendations and even if possible either borrowing from library visiting library or having soft copies going through them and seeing the best that you think you can comprehend so the best advice here is to delay buying textbook if you delay buying textbook look for recommendation go through the soft copies and also visit libraries in order to have a glance of all the textbooks so that you will buy one that suits you and you will not regret. If you decide not to buy textbook, the best way is either to be forming notes or having textbooks borrowed from libraries and also software.